food webs and food chains are really awesome tools to show you how the flow of energy occurs in an ecosystem. Energy pyramids not only can do that, but they can show you the amount of energy as well. Energy pyramids are models that show the amount of energy available at each trophic level in an ecosystem. Trophic levels are the different feeding levels of a food chain or a food web. The first level are the producers. Any organism that photosynthesizes would be in this trophic level. The second trophic level are called the primary consumers. They could be organisms that are herbivores or omnivores. The third trophic level are the secondary consumers, organisms that are carnivores or omnivores. The fourth trophic level are the tertiary consumers. Again, could be organisms that are carnivores or omnivores. And the fifth trophic level are the quaternary consumers, could be organisms that are carnivores or omnivores. It's really important to remember that any consumer and an ecosystem could be a part of any or all of these trophic levels minus the producer level. It all depends on what they're eating at the time in their particular chain. So the pyramid shape is really important. There's a reason why the pyramid shape is used in not a square or a circle and that's because pyramids get smaller as you go from the bottom to the top and that represents how energy decreases as you move from the bottom to the top or as you move from the producer level all the way to the top of the food chain. Only about 10% of an organism's energy is actually transferred from one trophic level to the next. The other 90% the organi organism uses to carry out its life processes and it's removed or could be removed as body heat or thermal energy. So producers have the most energy out of the ecosystem and that's because they create the energy. They have 100% of the available energy. So if producers have 100% and we're following the 10% rule, that means primary consumers get 10% of energy available to them. Secondary consumers get 1%, tertiary gets 0.1%, and sadly, the quaternary level only has 0.01% of energy available to them. As you can see, the most energy is available at the producer level. And that's why there are so many more plants than animals on Earth. They have more energy available to them, meaning they can support more organisms. There are fewer animals at the top of the food chain because most of the energy has already been used up by the lower levels. So let's recap. Energy pyramids are models that show the amount of energy available in an ecosystem. The amount of energy decreases as you move up the pyramid, aka the food chain. Producers have the most energy available and lastly, each trophic level only gets 10% of energy from the previous level.